Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, we're ready to go. It's a roller coaster. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Ivor O'Shea, as uh, Alan introduced me. I'm a 3D printing enthusiast. Uh, I blog on the topic, uh, I present on the topic, and I do some training on the topic of 3D printing in Fabric. <coughs> uh, I spoke for the first time publicly on uh, the topic about a year, over a year ago now, um, uh, 2014, uh, April, when the Fab Lab was uh, being set up <coughs> and when they opened their doors to the public and invited people to attend a meet or make up. Uh, a make or meet up. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> uh, Fab Lab uh, was being set up at the time in a facility just across the road from the Hunt Museum, that's where it's located at this point, uh, by the School of Architecture uh, at University of Limerick. Uh, the idea of the Fab Lab is that it would bring together equipment, uh, digital fabrication equipment, uh, occupy a space, and uh, then would build a community around that would be trained in the use of the equipment and avail of uh, the facilities in that space. Um, I've been working in uh, 3D printing, dabbling in 3D printing as a, as a hobby for over <coughs> five years, and uh, up to that point, I had really been had a virtual existence, uh, a garage geek uh, sort of uh, occupation. But with the uh, invitation that came out from the uh, uh, Fab Lab uh, for a maker meetup, I jumped at the opportunity uh, to, to speak, to come along, and to share what I had learned and accumulated, the knowledge I had built up, uh, share that with others. Delighted to do that. Other people uh, that had come along on that evening were from uh, similar perspectives. Really, it was an opportunity for them to come and show their wares, and we see. Uh, Dave Hunt here, an, an engineer, an electronics engineer, a, an accomplished photographer, and he's showing a, a device he built for time lapsing, a, an automatic uh, time lapse device, uh, and other gadgets that he had worked on in his own uh, garage in his own time. Dave and others uh, that evening soon realized that the Fab Lab was the place we would want to spend more time in, and with their cooperation, we negotiated uh, that they might keep it open late on Thursdays, like late opening on Thursdays. So we returned, I think, uh, we have to get thrown out of there on Thursdays at this stage. Uh, we're there every Thursday for the past year, it's just been fantastic. We built a virtual group also, I have established a virtual group called Midwest Makers. You're all welcome to find us on Facebook, as they say. Uh, it's been a brilliant forum for uh, designers, creators, and makers in the region to, to share their ideas. <coughs> Uh, to discuss what's going on and to uh, to meet online, as well as the physical presence on uh, on Thursdays in the Fab Lab. Examples of people who have come along to the Fab Lab to share their knowledge, show and tell us, but also to learn about uh, the technology there, 3D printing, and take that back, back to their own um, requirements. Uh, Dave Walsh of the uh, Surgical Department at the University of Limerick is now incorporating what he has learned in the Fab Lab in the training of, of, of doctors in, in, in surgery. So he's bringing the technology uh, he's learned there back with him to his workplace. Uh, Ed Devan, as uh, you've heard from earlier, is an avid fan of both the Fab Lab and uh, Midwest Makers. Uh, he has used the technology available to him in Fab Lab to increase productivity, learn about the tools, and increase productivity when he needs to there. We have people from all disciplines. We have designers, graphic designers, fashion designers, um, visual communications people, and you get some really creative uh, things being done with the, uh, the the fabrication tools available there. We, just returning to Dave, uh, a year on, uh, Dave Hunt has taken his twice, his uh, time lapse, his automatic time lapse uh, device, and has spent the last year running, learning about the technology and the equipment in the Fab Lab, and has prototyped it uh, so rapidly now and so advanced that he is about to um, release it as a kit form, all that in the time he spent in the Fab Lab availing of the facilities there. <clears throat> he also has used the opportunity to meet other uh, creative people, designers, and uh, we applied last uh, Christmas for funding from the um, uh, ID 2015 uh, group and received uh, some funding there to pursue a series of workshops, to present a series of workshops to develop wearable electronics, to incorporate wearable electronics into garments. So that's a series of workshops we have been running since the beginning of this year in the Fab Lab also. But it's not so much about the end product, 
uh, as about the people, the mix of people that the Fab Lab is drawing together, the different designers, creators, and technical people that are brought together in the Fab Lab that we have found fascinating uh, as, as the use of that space, both on the Thursday and on virtually uh, in the, uh, the Facebook uh, virtual existence. So we think that uh, Fab Lab Limerick and Midwest Makers are truly a creative combination. Thank you very much.